This is Craig Migliaccio from AEC Service Tech, and today what we're going over are three methods in order to connect and hang rectangular duct in a ceiling, an attic, or in a crawl space. So here we have 14 by 8 rectangular duct, and you can see it actually measures 14 and a quarter inches. And here it measures about 8 and 8, 8 and a quarter or so. So basically, we have these pieces of drive hangers cut so that you have nine and a quarter plus one inch plus one inch, so it's 11 and a quarter inches. And so we're gonna be hanging our next piece over here. And we have 14 and a quarter inches between each one of these two pieces of hanging drive. And what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna show you how to make these real quick. And then we're gonna go ahead and show our three methods for hanging our duct. So after we have our drive cleat cut out of our long piece, which is a 10 foot section, these are cut at 11 and a quarter inches. What we do next is we take our handbrakes and we have these little notches on the handbrakes. That's a quarter inch, half inch, three quarter, one inch. So we have it set at one inch right now and we're just gonna fold this over just like this. Now you could leave the bottom and fold that over after you hang the duct or we could go ahead and, and do that as well. Uh, the big thing right now is when we're putting these holes in, depending on how you put these holes, this thing could spin around and you want to be safe and not try to cut yourself. So uh, what I end up doing a lot of times is I'll take a scratch all and I'll just punch a hole. So you could do it that way or what you could do is you could take a zip screw uh, with a drill bit on it in order to get your second hole. So you could do it that way. So either way is good. And we're gonna be using deck screws for this in order to mount them into uh, the joists. I use two galvanized deck screws because I know they're not gonna rot over time and they're not gonna fall out. I've seen enough ducts uh, actually falling down, the whole entire duct are falling down just because there's one roofing nail that was nailed through the bottom of this into the floor joist and that's just pulled down over time due to that wet crawl space. In this case, the lip of the duct that's going to come in is going to go inside of this duct because you can see the lip for this existing duct is right here in the S-lock. So this is what it looks like right here. And same thing up here, we have our lip where we're going to be putting our other piece is going to go above this existing duct right here. And so now we're going to go ahead and get to method one. So for method one, which is the most common duct hanging method, we're gonna put both of our pieces of S-lock on our existing duct ahead of time. And so these pieces of S-lock, they're also referred to as slip and slide, are cut to about 1 8 of an inch smaller than the inside dimension of the duct. And you can see that both S-locks are faced in the same direction, so our new duct is gonna be coming right in uh, to the top section right here. So method one, we're gonna take our duct and we're gonna rest it on our shoulder just like this. We're going to get this side lined up first, so we're going to kind of come at an angle like this. I have my hand on the ear right here on purpose just to try to line it up into that top S-lock as well. We're going to take our drive while we're holding this duct up with our left hand, and we're going to slide that up just like that. Now we're going to take this duct and we're going to wiggle it so it's all the way back like that, and then we're going to pull it like this. So when we pull it like that, it should tighten the ears in the back, just like that. And then we can fold these over. Next, we're gonna get our drill and secure these. So now that we're, we're here, since these pieces of drive were already pre-bent, we're just gonna put one zip screw right in the bottom here, one here, and then we're gonna fold these over and we can put two screws in these. So we can either put two in the bottom or one in the bottom and one in the middle. After putting your zip screws into the drive in order to hold the duct, you would then take your mastic 
in order to seal up your duct so you don't have any air loss. Now we're going to move on to method number two. Method number two includes pre-hanging this secondary duct right here, and you're only going to put the screws on the bottom of the hanging drive cleats. And this allows the duct to pivot back and forth in order for you to put your S-lock in. Now you may need to do this if you have a, a hard position that this duct is in, or you have a long section of duct and you can't hold it up in the air. Now another thing in reference to this, if you're kind of stuck in a position where you, you can't go back and forth with this duck and it's just tight right here, what you could do is you could take your tin snips in order to cut like right here a half inch this way and you can take your other tin snips and come this way and cut a half inch and that will give you the gap in order to basically hit on your S-lock and you can, you can hit it all the way in, same thing with the top and then you can go ahead and put your, your drive in place for a tight situation. Method number three is attaching multiple lengths of ductwork on the ground and putting them together. We're gonna to be screwing them together. You take a long zip screw in order to do that so the S-lock doesn't bend open. And then we're going to mastic this together. You could do as many as even like say 24 foot of ductwork and just hang the whole section together with two or three tacks. This way it avoids you having to do this one little section at a time. So now we're gonna go ahead and add our mastic to this while it's on the ground so we can get at everything very easily. At this point, we would also cut any collars in that we need and we would seal them up against the duct with the mastic. We're going to continue adding mastic to this and then we're going to hang our duct. Now that we have this all masticed up and we have our bottom section screwed, I'm gonna have Brandon help me lift all these sections of duct up at one time and we're gonna go ahead and hang them in place. You got it? Yep, thanks. to go. We hung this duct without insulation, but if you were going to add insulation because you're hanging the duct in a non-conditioned area, you would add the insulation after the mastic and have it all taped and secured ahead of time before you hang the duct. So I hope this video helped you understand multiple methods in order to hang ductwork and the different techniques in which you could use and the, the methods for the, the drive and the slide and how many screws to put in, all that type of stuff. And if you want to learn more about HVAC, make sure to check out our website over at acservicetech.com where we have a bunch of articles, quick tips, podcasts, calculators, quizzes, and also make sure to check out our refrigerant charging and service procedures for air conditioning book. Hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech channel.